In this video, we're going to create this artwork in Photoshop. Alright, let's get started. Let's create a new file. Size 1080 by 1080 and hit create. Now let's bring down the first image that we're going to use in this tutorial. This one. You can find the link to this image in the description below. Drag this down here. And now let's place it really big. And I think I'd like to drag it from here. Wait. Yeah, really, really big. Yeah, I think this one. And then I'd like to flip this, right click and flip horizontal. I'd like to make the lighting is coming from the right side. Yeah, making sure the position is here. And I'd like to rotate that a bit by dragging this slider. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. And maybe a little bit more dragging it, dragging it here. Okay, now we're going to separate these two clouds. I mean this cloud, this is the foreground and this is going to be the background. So I'm going to separate that by using quick selection tool and select think this as a border. So let's select this area and now let's invert it inverse so the selection is active for this one and now let's go to select one more time and select and mask we're going to fix this a bit by giving or cranking up the radius more so you can see the detail there i think i'm okay with that let's output that into layer mask hit ok uh, we have that dark edges here I think I need to go back, double click here, and now shift edge a bit, so we don't have that dark edges on this cloud image, and I'll put that into layer mask again, alright, as you can see there, looks better. Now we need to restore the background cloud, uh, wait a minute, I'm going to rename this first as foreground. And I'm going to duplicate this layer by clicking or holding Alt key and drag this down. That's it. I'm going to name it as background. Put it on the back. And I'm going to delete the layer mask. So now it looks like we are back in the original state of this image. Well, actually we have already separated this. Okay, cool. Next, let's create some mist effects between these two clouds here, between these two clouds. So let's create a new layer, call it mist. And oh, brush tool. By the way, I'm using a custom brush called Free Smoke for Brush 6. You can find the link in the description below. Download it and open it in your Photoshop and it will be loaded here and i will be selecting this one it's quite large and i think i need to scale this down around this value yeah and then rotate that a bit okay and then maybe 2000 pixel and then hold alt key and select this color and apply it here and now let's strengthen the lighting. I'm going to create another mist. I'm sorry. Mist number two. And I'm going to scale this brush a bit smaller. But now with screen blending mode. Let's try again. Okay. Looking cool. And I'd like to add one more mist effect. I think I'd like to light mist because I'm going to create some light. And now I'd like to use a simple brush like this one. And 
the blending mode will be screen one more time and just apply it over here then next i'd like to add some more magic between i mean for this mist so i'm going to add this image of a galaxy there and scale this up maybe around the, that position and change the blending mode into screen now it looks really cool something like sparkles coming out from below this cloud now we need to clear this edges first it looks ugly there we need to rasterize right click and rasterize layer now grab burn tool and make sure the range is shadow exposure around 30 percent and this i think i need to scale up a bit and apply here as you can see now the edge is gone okay that's it let's rename this layer i'm going to call it sparks now it's time to summon the this whale into the composition all right now this whale layer looks out of place because there's no lighting effects attached to this so we're going to create this now First, let's adjust the color balance. And I'm using photo filter for this case. And make sure it clip. So it only applies to this humpback wheel. And I think warming filter LBA is the perfect match for this case. Okay, the color balance is looking nice now but now it lacks some lights because the light is coming from below and some ambient light coming from the right so we're going to adapt that into this whale i'm going to use hue and saturation and make sure it clip to this humpback whale and hit colorize lightness up saturation and the most important is the hue slider there make sure it match with the with the tone of this cloud and I think this around this value is, is okay yeah since it's an adjustment layer you can also change it later so let's just try it out for this one and now let's select layer mask we need to hide this for a while adjustment invert so yeah we're going to bring it back manually by using brush tool brush tool and select simple brush with hardness zero and the size is not so big and the opacity i don't know i'm not sure but it's 100 percent let's just turn down to 72 oh yeah make sure the color is white okay let's apply it okay we are creating a nice ambient tone there maybe bigger over here okay actually we need to create the highlights because that will make the wheel more convincing over there okay what we need to create next is to create a highlight for this humpback wheel because the lighting from below is strong so we need to strengthen the lighting over here so i'm going to duplicate this one I press Ctrl J to duplicate this layer and then make sure it's clip again. This time let's change the blending mode into screen and change the lightness of this hue saturation. Now you can see it start responding to the lighting from below. But we need to adjust this uh, the edge of the light there. So let's just delete this first and create another layer and redo last like we did before in for that and now we paint this back just like we did before 
use the same brush settings this very the size and paint this manually and you got nice highlight effects there maybe we need, you need also to scale this down a bit and zoom into the image so you can see the detail much better if it doesn't look good just undo it and yeah do do it quite slowly here oh yeah for the arm we'll do a special treatment for it because we can just paint like this it looks really ugly i will explain that later okay if you redo it i mean do it overdo it i mean you can just use black color and you can erase this and if you want to paint it again just use white color here i'm pressing x and so you can flip between black and white there and paint again okay now for the arm we need to create another uh, hue saturation effects but before that we need to select this part by using um, using pen tool so let's select this one make sure you know how to use pen tool it's a crucial tool anyway all right now let's select like that and now let's duplicate this one um, yeah this one and now let's delete this layer mask what we need to do is to create a new vector mask and current path so we make selection based on that path okay we have a different kind of mask here this is a vector mask which is create the shape of the selection and now we create we add another layer mask and invert it just like before now the process is similar grab brush tool and paint over here okay the difference is the selection is active based on this vector mask which is nice so you need not to worry about going over this area and remember use black brush if you overdo the brush like this one okay and also as i said before you can always change the value of this so if you think the light is really weak you can just crank it up yeah <coughs> same for here if you need a bit stronger light simply just drag the lightness up now you have a nice light effects there okay now it looks quite nice already but I think we need to fix this uh, foreground cloud a bit because it now lacking some colors so let's just add similar effects like we do over the humpback wheel so just duplicate this one this middle I should have named it as highlights and duplicate that hold all key and bring it up and make sure it clip to this and we need to no need to delete that actually let's just flip this color so make sure the for background color is black and then apply that background background color into here by pressing control delete okay now it's black now use uh, the brush tool same like before and now we apply it over here maybe try using this uh, smoke brush we applied before make it smaller yeah that's fine okay looks better let's see the difference yeah i think it's better okay next uh, let's make this sky a bit darker 
So um, let's go back to this background layer and grab the quick selection tool and select this part and inverse it so that selection is active for the the cloud and select one more time go select and mask okay and crank up the radius so we can fix the edge of that all right just don't overdo it and I think let's use the contaminate color for this case and output to yeah this new layer with layer mask now we can add a custom background by going to solid color select this one and solid color now you can choose any color you like but I think I'd like to choose this dark color so it match all right I also want to add some sparks on the background so I'd like to duplicate this layer hold alt key and bring this down over here this in front of the custom background color there yeah I think that way maybe adding a little bit curves and clip there yeah something like that maybe I'm not sure uh, let's just skill I mean turn down a bit I don't want it to be too uh, distracting maybe a bit more sorry yeah this subtle this this subtle sparkles instead I I want this I want to add more sparks over here so I duplicate that one and bring it this about here all right basically that's it for the tutorial and for the next part you can explore for the tones that you like that fits your artistic uh, preference say for example you want to apply some color balance like here or simply using some 3d loot and try some presets that may fit your taste or you can play with some uh, a camera raw filter but first thing first you need to uh, merge this all together I press Control alt shift and E to merge them and then turn this into smart object and now you can open camera raw filter and play around with the tones here say for example the temperator and the tints or more with a color mixer and play with these sliders it's really up to you it's really up to your preference and have fun and see you in the next tutorial